you're stuck here and I'm going to show you how to jailbreak 4.3.1 and 4.3 untethered for your iPhone 4, your iPad, your iPod Touch 4, your iPod Touch 3G, and your iPhone 3GS. So um, this is going to be with Redso and I'm going to be demonstrating this on the Mac. However, the process for the Windows um, jailbreak is very simple and the same thing. The only difference is that I'm showing you on the Mac, but it's really is just the same thing because it's just a UI difference but it'll process the same so here we have it right here um, you're just gonna want to open it up I'll have everything down in the description and here we go let's just open up Red Snow so we're gonna need for this is your of course uh, device so it works for everything um, every device except the iPad 2 that runs 4.3.1 and it is untethered so what you're gonna need is iTunes 10 um, the latest iTunes, your firmware on 4.3.1, which we have right here on the desktop, and make sure it's not a customer store, it's stock firmware. Open up Red Snow, browse for your firmware, which I'm going to do right now, and let's go over to the desktop, and there's the firmware. Just going to open that up. And let's just click next. Sorry about that. We had Ponish Tool open. I was going to do the tutorial video with Ponish Tool, however, Red Snow was just released. So once it successfully identifies the IPS, IPSW, you click next. It's going to do its processing, and then it's going to give us these option screens. So I'm going to be demonstrating this with the iPad. Um, very simple video. I don't have my tripod and everything set up, so I'm just going to do a iPhone video as a side camera. So all you need to know right here is um, install Cydia, and that's pretty much it. It's untethered, so we're just going to click Next. And now it's going to ask us to turn off the device, which we will do right now. I'm going to record it. We just need to turn off our device. And make sure it is not jailbroken currently um, for the best results. I know that you can overwrite Snowbreeze. However, I suggest just fresh restore and do this again. So we're just going to click next on um, Red Snow. And it's going to put us into the instructions to put the device in DFU mode. So I'm going to put down the camera for just a sec, and it is dark again. Like I said, it is 1.36 in the morning, and this was just released. So we're just going to hold down the home, or the lock button, then the home button. And DFU mode is very simple. you got these on-screen instructions. So now we're just holding the home button. And of course, you cannot see much. Now we have the iPad downloading jailbreak data. And Red Snow is doing its thing. And now Red Snow has finished. So here we go with the iPad doing the verbose boot. So iPad 1G, iPad 2 does not work. And I do apologize for the um, poor DFU mode instructions, but then again, it is all on the red snow part right here. And if you have any troubles, just go in the description. Um, if you fail, if red snow fails and you're stuck in DFU mode and your device doesn't respond, all you have to do is hold the, the lock button and the home button for about 15 seconds and the device will turn off and then boot back up. So we're just waiting for this verbose boot to finish. And again, I do apologize for the crappy video quality. This is with my iPhone 4. Because it's so late at night, I didn't feel like setting up everything. Okay, and we now have the iPad. 
4.3.1 jailbroken untethered so let's go over to Cydia which is right there and that's going to do its thing and one last time I'm going to verify that I am on 4.3 or just opening up settings and put the camera down and 4.3.1 as you can see right there and we just have a respring because city was doing uh, the utilizing file system but this is untethered and um, I'll reboot it actually right now just to show you and I will uh, speed up the clip And you can see right there, perfect reboot, and we're just going to go over and verify that Cydia is set right there. Cydia opens fine, and that is the untethered jailbreak for 4.3.1. Now, um, just want to make sure, show you guys, make sure you check out iOSforlife.com, which is right here, the iOS blog and fullthrottlehosting.com and this is web hosting we offer free plan ultimate plan and all that so I just want to leave those I'm going to leave those in the description just wanted to uh, show you guys that but 4.3.1 jailbreak untethered and follow me on twitter twitter.com slash mr tech all that info is down in the description and I hope you enjoyed this video so rate comment and subscribe see ya